All right, well, to Edmonton now, where some brave souls took a very chilly dip today in temperatures around minus 22 degrees. They did the polar bear plunge at Lake Summerside in Edmonton. They were all raising money for Special Olympics athletes. Chief Rick Taylor of Alberta Sheriff's and Security Operations was one of those daring participants. He and his team were among the top fundraisers this year. And shortly before the event, I asked Rick how he prepared for the plunge. I'm not sure you can prepare for something like this, but earlier this year I participated in the ice bucket challenge, as did some of my colleagues. So the ice water, I think, was a good prep for this. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Just a taste of what you're about to experience. So, Chief, why did you decide to take part this year? Well, we're all big supporters of the Law Enforcement Torch Run for in support of Special Olympics Alberta. We, we work hard to raise funds so that those amazing athletes can participate in their local, provincial, and national, and international game sport competitions. So it's a lot of fun to support them and watch them uh, grow and develop uh, in their sports. And your team that you have with you there, one of the top fundraising teams. How much did you guys raise? I think we're up around 3500 bucks all in. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I'm being told higher now, so closer to 4000 Oh, that's amazing. So I got to ask you, what are you going to do? You guys look like you just have your game faces on right now. But what are you going to do immediately <laughs> after you get out to warm up, when you get out of that freezing water? What are you going to do? Well, I'm thinking some hot coffee and perhaps some other stronger libations <laughs> might be in order. Does anybody have any fears before they go in there? Well, I think a couple of my teammates are shivering. I'm not sure if that's from the cold or from the fear of what lies ahead. <laughs> well, I got to say, you guys look really cool in those sunglasses. So I don't want to keep you waiting there just out in the cold. Why don't you guys do your thing? Well, we're hoping the Hawaii lays in the sunglasses. Help, help to bring the warmth. <laughs> You're going to need it. Well, best of luck, you guys. You've done an amazing job. The fundraising alone and just the spirit to be out there. I, I, I got to say, my, my fists are just clenched as I watch you guys out there. I don't know how you're going to make it through this, but you will. Well, we're all frozen in place here right now, so I think they're going to <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for this, Chief. We appreciate it. Good luck. We'll be watching. Okay. Well, that's Chief Rick Taylor of Alberta Sheriff's and Security Operations. He was speaking to us earlier from Edmonton. Well, shortly after that interview, Chief Taylor went ahead, took that icy plunge, and we wouldn't let you go without showing you the exact moment. Have a look. Bonsai! Ooh. <laughs> In case you're wondering why everyone couldn't run in together, it was actually so cold there today in the minus 20s. Organizers had to cut a hole in the ice for participants to actually jump into it. So must have been nerve wracking for all of those people waiting to take their turn, watching everyone go in one by one. And I just want to let you know that Chief Taylor's group ended up raising $15,000 by the end of the event.